Good day guys, welcome back. It's been a while. Today we've got a 2012 Volkswagen Tiguan 2 litre TSI engine. Uh, petrol and it's coming for a, an intermittent misfire only under heavy load on the road. So um, at idle it doesn't miss. Uh, when you try and stall it up it doesn't miss. When you go for a drive and you drive normally it doesn't miss but when you put your foot down under load it does miss. So what we've done is, is we've just gone for a quick drive, we've made it happen, replicated the fault and we've just pulled up the codes and as you can see around the misfire detected, still on the four misfire detected, still on the disabling P130A. So I've had a look at these codes already um, on these VAG motors, uh, so both these two codes can come up for anything from an ignition misfire, um, an injector misfire, mechanic fault anything like that can come up so the first thing I'm going to do is check the basics um, and I have actually gone out already with a little paddle probe and gone over the secondaries of the coils and I could see that number four was very very weak output compared to the rest so what I quickly did do only because they're so easy is I just swapped plugs and coils to other cylinders so I put the plug in cylinder number two and I put the coil in cylinder number three and what we are going to do is I've got it running now I'm going to set up the ATS ECOPS which I've just bought well I actually had them for a while but I've never really had the chance to use them because uh, the worst thing about doing secondary is that you, you got to stand at the front and hold it and watch it whereas the ECOPS come with clips and they clip to the coils and then obviously you can go for a drive or you can jump in the car and stall it up so I'll get that set up and I'll show you what's going on over there alright here we are so the ECOPS are connected and basically, it literally is those inductive pickups, clipped to the coils, got our normal leads, connected to Pico, and we're on the screen. As you can see, we have got number one and number two. So obviously they're not clear waveforms because I've got it sort of spread out so we can see both of them on the screen at the same time. And then I can change them to the other cylinders and then we can still see it all on the same screen. So what I'm going to do is, like I said to you before, this was the failing one that was weak. We swapped it to that one. We put that plug in that one. So I'll show you what's happening. If we look at those waveforms now, and you can see they're the same sort of output. Before I throw, let's see if I can do this with one hand. Before I throw that. As you can see, look how weak it is compared to number one. Uh, and just as another comparison, I'll go to number four, just so you can see the difference. And there you go. Same output. Back to number two. Same output. Back to this coil, which came from number four weak output so this was exactly the same looking as it was on number four so we know this coil is definitely failing 100% uh, we're going to speak to the customer and see what they want to do but yeah I just thought I'd show you a quick one because these ECOPs are absolutely fantastic you can literally look I haven't got that set up there on the screen but we can just jump in the car go out there and you probably can't see anyway from here but we can stall it up, we could zoom in on that, we can stall it up and then we, we'd be able to see a loaded misfire. So hopefully um, you, you like those ECOPs and yeah if you do get a chance and you're interested in those they're, they're fantastic available from ATS and obviously I got mine from AES Wave so I get a lot of stuff from aeswave.com.com so yeah. And just as a little side note, a little bit extra proof of the pudding sort of thing. But as you can see, we just don't know a lot of data. And we can see that now that that coil from number four is in number three. Look at the uh, cylinder three misfire counter just going up. So there we go, guys. I don't think we need to put the new coils in and show you. It's proof enough. So hopefully this made sense to you. And uh, yeah, like I said before, if you like those ECOPs, jump on aeswave.com and, and pick them up. Thanks for watching. Much appreciated, and uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed, please do.